Hello and welcome. Today we are making a totem moss pole. So today I'm going to be going through how to make a sphagnum moss pole for your climbing plants. Now the benefit of a sphagnum moss pole is that it mimics the natural environment of your plants. So the plants will climb up and it will root into the pole. So it'll develop lots of little aerial roots. Now, the good thing about that is that you'll create a robust plant with a really robust root system, but also the leaves will actually grow bigger. Now, there are heaps of different totem poles, and I guess the reason I like sphagnum moss poles, so the pro, the pros of a sphagnum moss pole is that plants really enjoy rooting into sphagnum moss. It's a very effective rooting medium, and that's why I use sphagnum moss poles. However, I guess the major downside is that you need to keep them moist. So how often you'll need to mist and water the pole will depend on how humid and how hot your climate is. You can't let it dry out and you definitely don't want the aerial roots to be drying out. They're relatively easy to make. So I'm very excited for this video because you really don't need a lot at all. And if you have any questions about different types of totem poles or I guess the benefits of sphagnum moss or anything like that, please feel free to get in touch. But let's talk about what we need. Gutter guard. You're going to need gutter guard. Now you don't want something too big that's going to let the moss just fall through the squares. But at the same time, you don't want something too fine with holes that are really quite small because you really want some room for the aerial roots to take hold. So I find this size is quite good. Um, and that's what I like to use. This was only $3 at Bunnings. Quite a good product, would recommend. Now, you're also going to need a PVC pole. I use PVC poles because they don't rot and they're a good solid foundation for your pole. Um, I mean, really, you could use wood or bamboo or something like that because you probably, in all honesty, you would probably repot your plant within two years. But I just like the security in knowing that this PVC is not going to rot no matter how wet the soil is and no matter how wet the sphagnum moss on it is. You're going to need zip ties. These were like maybe $10 for a 500 pack at Bunnings or maybe 11 or 12, somewhere around there. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that Bunnings cuts the PVC pipes. So you can buy as long a pipe as you want. Um, at Bunnings and they will just cut it down for you at most stores, especially if they have a trade section. You're going to need some scissors and you're going to need your sphagnum moss. So make sure you wear a mask while you're working with dry sphagnum moss because there's a lot of particles and you definitely don't want to inhale those. Um, but I've just let it soak in water for about 15-20 minutes and that should be good to go now. So let's build this thing. Now the first step is going to be working out how big your pot is and how much pole you need versus how much moss you need. So measure that up, mark it on the pole, and that's how we start. Next, we're gonna have to cut the gutter guard to size. So just scissors do the trick. I use it lengthways because you'll see that the size is quite conducive to doing that. So if you look at that, we obviously are going to wrap it this way, given the width and given the width of the pole. Um, so we just size it up and give it a snip. Next, we're gonna arrange a decent layer of sphagnum moss along that gutter guard. So we're going to try to keep it nice and even. We're not going to make some parts thin and some parts bulgy. We're just going to put a nice layer, um, I guess thick enough so that there is room for aerial roots to thrive in it. Then we're going to get our pole and we're going to put that onto the moss and then we're going to put it together. So we're going to roll that gutter guard and then we're gonna zip tie it securely. Give it a little bit of a chop to make it neat. And there you go.
And there you have it. A lot of mess later, probably. A moss pole. Now remember to keep this guy moist so that the plant can root into it. Bye guys.